Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good where, wherever you guys are around the globe. Uh, I hope you guys have had a great weekend, a great Sunday. Um, yeah, let's get into this. Um, guys, Maurizio Lara absolutely destroys Emiliano Sanchez. That was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. What What a bad, bad man Maurizio Lara is. I saw Maurizio Lara for the first time against uh, Josh Warrington and and the power, the brutal nature of his fighting style. Um, I, I, I think he's a little bit wild. Sometimes he throws really wild shots uh, and he leaves his chin exposed. But he's, boy, has that guy got some power in his shots. Uh, every time he was hitting Emiliano Sanchez, Sanchez was wobbling and all over the place. Um, and he did the same with Warrington as well. And that's when I first got to know who Maurizio Lara is. Everybody thought Maurizio Lara was a cherry pick. Like, it, they, everyone looked at Maurizio Lara as a guy that was, you know, uh, people were complaining because a lot of people wanted to f uh, see, um, wanted to see, uh, uh, Josh Warrington fight Kid Galahad. And he didn't take the fight with Kid Galahad. And a lot of people were calling Josh Warrington a ducker. And everyone thought that Maurizio Lara was, a cherry pick, an easy fight, and people were criticizing um, Josh Warrington for, you know, avoiding Kid Galad and fighting Maurizio Lara. Um, and Maurizio Lara turned out to be anything but a cherry pick. He absolutely obliterated Josh Warrington. His punching power, I think his style was all wrong. I think he was all wrong for... Um, he was all wrong for Josh Warrington. Josh Warrington's a pressure fighter, likes to come forward, not a very big puncher. But Maurizio Lara had some serious punching power. And I just think stylistically it was all wrong. Then they had that rematch and it got um, it was a no contest because of the head clash. Um, Lara would have battered Warrington again, uh, if I'm honest with you. I think Lara would have knocked him out again. I just think Lara's style was all wrong and his power was too much. And I think he was getting to Warrington. I think he would have stopped Warrington. Um but this dude is a bad, bad man. He punches so hard. He's so brutal with his, which is, which is the way he, you know, way he throws his punches. And uh, that was bad. Like every time he was hitting Emiliano Sanchez, it was just like he was all over the place. He was wobbling. Every, every, t every um, shot he landed, it had such a devastating effect. I will say this though, that uh, Lara is defensively not the greatest and he's also quite wild. Like I said, his chin's exposed. A good boxer can easily outbox Maurizio Lara, but has that boy got some power? If he lands those big shots, see sometimes when you're a good boxer and apparently Sanchez, Emiliano Sanchez was, and it, you know, uh, Andy Ruiz's former trainer was trying to tell him to box and not get into a war with um with Lara because you know he's heavy handed if you if you're going to fight fire with fire Lara's going to come out and on top Lara wants you to go uh um toe to toe with him and that's why he loved Josh Warrington because Josh Warrington's style because it it was tailor made for Lara because Lara had the heavier hands and Warrington likes to go toe to toe he likes to have a scrap and uh, Lara has the heavier hands so he's going to land and hurt you and that's what he did to Warrington that's what he did with Sanchez but sometimes when you're a good boxer and you've got a guy that's hitting you with such big shots you you automatically want to trade with him. It's very hard when a guy's hitting you with such hard shots for you to box because it's that fear. It's that fear that if I box, he catches me, he could wipe me out. So you want to go in there and hurt him. And by doing that, you're giving him the upper hand and he's the one that ends up wiping you out. And that's what happened. Uh, you know, actually, the crazy thing was about this fight is I think Laura had Sanchez down early and then I know the fight only lasted three rounds. But... Um, in the third round, when Lara actually knocked, you know, um, Sanchez out, Sanchez actually had Lara hurt. I think he had Lara hurt. I think Lara was all over the place. He hurt him with a body shot. He hurt him with shots up at the top. And I felt like maybe Sanchez was, you know, closing in. And then Lara hit him with a shot and Sanchez was all over the place. And then I think there was a couple of seconds left in the round and he completely, totally wiped him out. Um, you know, Lara is a, is a vicious, vicious guy. I do think someone... Uh, with a, with good boxing ability, somewhat slickster would be too much for Laura because Laura is very wild. I think that's quite clear to see. He's not the most technically sound fighter. He's very very wild. Um, but if you trade with him or if you're a pressure fighter and you're going toe to toe with him, you're in serious trouble because this guy, this guy has some serious power and he's 
and he's he's brutal about like he's brutal he is brutal he he likes it he like he he has the power to totally wipe you out you know this is a very very good fighter now what next for maritza laura honestly i would like to see him fight warrington again now i don't think warrington wins that fight and i don't think stylistically it's a fight that if i was warrington's management or team i would definitely definitely you know drift away from that trilogy because uh i don't see how warrington wins that fight i think laura would flatten him uh if i'm honest like he did in the first fight uh, i don't see laura beating i mean I, I don't see warrington beating laura um i think laura makes a good fight with lee wood that that's again a hard fight for lee wood laura punches so so hard um i would like to see laura fight uh the winner of conlon lee wood that'd be a good fight um you know, who knows, maybe Laura moves up and then we know at 130 there's some good fights there for him. You know, there's Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson would batter Laura. I just think Shakur's a different level, uh, different breed, that guy. Uh, but yeah, there's some big fights. There's some big fights out there for um, Maurizio Laura. I'd like to see him get involved in. Um, but yeah, I do think he's a problem. I do think he's a very, very heavy handed guy. If he lands flush shots on anybody, you're in serious trouble. You're in serious, serious trouble. If he starts landing some big shots on you, um, you have to box him. If you go toe to toe with Maurizio Lara, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. You need to be, you need to box. Uh, you need to definitely box Lara. Otherwise, if you go toe to toe with this guy, there's a good chance he's going to wipe you out. Simple as that. So you have to box with Lara. I think he can be outboxed. Well, he's quite wild. He's quite reckless at times. So he can definitely be out of box. But if he catches you, you know, you're in big trouble because he has got some serious power. You can just see the way he loads up on those shots. Every power, there's, every shot is powerful. You can just tell when he's loading up on those shots, the kind of brute force that he has behind those punches. Uh, you don't want to be at the end of them. And especially you don't want to be at the end of them uh, consistently because as Warrington, Warrington has a good chin. But Warrington was at the... What, was at the back end of getting caught so consistently of this guy and if you get caught consistently of a guy that's punches that hard he's going to wear you down and break you down and that's what he did to warrington uh, but the problem is with warrington warrington doesn't really have any other way of fighting warrington's a pressure fighter he likes to he's a volume punt he's a volume fighter he's a vol he's a guy that goes in there and he's, he's all about volume stamina output that's what warrington relies on pressure and that plays into laura's hand beautifully he knows that, you know, Lara knows that Warrington hasn't really got the power to hurt him. And uh, Lara just, he's got the power to hurt Warrington. So that fight's only going to end one way for me. So uh, I don't think that re trilogy will ever happen. I think they'll avoid that fight just because I think they know that he's got his number. Um, Lara's punch is too hard for me for Warrington. Uh, Warrington, it's crazy because... You know, Warrington did well against guys like Lee Selby and Frampton, but I think their style suited Warrington. Uh, Laura's Laura doesn't suit Warrington at all because Laura hits so hard and and uh, he's so brutal. I I just think that you know that that fight would end that fight would end exactly the same way. I know a lot of people want to see that trilogy because the, they thought the second fight ended conclusively, and obviously the first fight was conclusive in Laura's favor, and people want to see Warrington. Uh, could avenge that loss, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think Warrington, I think he has his number. I do. I think stylistically, Warrington cannot beat Lara. That's just my opinion. I don't think he has the power to hurt him. I think Lara has the power to hurt him. I think stylistically, I think his fighting style favors him. So, yeah, I don't think that's a good fight. I don't think that's a fight which, um, you know, Warrington should take if he's, if he's, if he wants to, you know, prolong his career, because another loss to Laura would certainly mean Warrington would have nowhere to go. So uh, I definitely think Warrington should look to go down another route or another uh, another path, because I, I don't see him beating uh, Maurizio Laura. Laura's got the bit between his teeth. He punches too hard, um, and he's a force. He's a force to be reckoned with. However, there are flaws in his game. You know, he's wild. He leaves his chin up in the air. You know, if you are a big puncher. And a good boxer, there's a good chance you knock Lara out as well because Lara was wobbled in that fight. Lara was hurt, you know, to the body and with some headshots by Sanchez. Uh, it's just the fact that, you know, Lara was just the heavier handed guy and Sanchez for some reason just avoided his or negated his boxing skills and wanted to go to toe to toe with him. You know, his, you know, his corner was telling him, box him, box him, don't, 
don't go toe to toe with this guy. You know, Andy Ruiz's former trainer, his name's not coming to my mind. Um, Manny Robles, yeah, he was saying, don't go toe to toe with this guy. Box him, box him. You know, he's heavy handed. Don't go toe to toe with him. But I feel like it's a lot easier said than done when the, when Lara's landing those big shots on you. I think you want to get him before he gets you, kind of thing. Um, so yeah, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think about Maurizio Lara's brutal performance. I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.